Andrew Jones, everybody. Let's get it up. Oh, what's up? Woo, 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 woo. Okay. So, so uh, welcome to Kamikaze Expo. All Glad to be here. Long. Yes, you, all year long. I love it. All that. year long. Like, You've been coming to Kamikaze part. for several years. You I love have. it? I have. Yeah, I've been coming to Kamikaze, just getting my groove on, meeting all the fans, and now here we are. Here we go. <laughs> on, online. What's up, y'all? How you doing? It's good. <laughs> yeah. well, let's jump into uh, some nerd topics. Did you watch? The uh, Avengers Coca-Cola. Yes. Yeah. That was what did you cool. think of that? I thought it's funny that the Hulk can't open the can. I wonder if it has a problem with the zipper. <laughs> you know, it's just a good point. Yeah. I mean, you can't like, over sweat. Yeah, like, you know, that would be a little odd, I think. Uh, but yeah. it was like our own little uh, issue of the Avengers right in the middle of. Super yeah. Bowl. No, it was pretty cool. I was like, all right, you it know, was, that's it was fun. fun. Yeah. Now, did you know about the secret with that ad? Jonathan, London, please tell them the secret. Of that ad. That ad was to start a scavenger hunt for six individual designed Coke cans that ah. you can get through social media doing different uh, scavenger hunt like things. Uh, this box showed up at my house and, it's, and it had two of my favorite logos on it Marvel and Coca Cola. And I opened it up and it was like these are. six they, cans they and they were in there. That, that's, that's my kitchen table. If you collect you all six work. of them, uh, Captain America recruits you. Is that right? Yeah, he, he called me. He said, Bring the trident. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. No, he said bring Walter Jones. Yeah, bring Walter Jones. Yeah, yeah right. I think that would work better. I, I, I thought yeah. about the Trident thing that you were talking about, and I thought, you know, that could be a problem because once you jabbed a walking, mm -hmm. you know, you jabbed a zombie, mm -hmm. then it makes you vulnerable because all it does is take somebody to maneuver your your stick and kind of make you. And I thought about that. I thought about yeah. spears, right? Yeah. Because a spear is good, but you, you you impale a zombie, it climbs on the spear and eats you. Exactly. Uh, they no, start no. grabbing, they control you. But All of a sudden, you know, it's just. A too trident much. stops it. Or yeah. a ski pole. I we think, can do a ski I think pole. The sword is quite effective, I'm just going to say. But, you know. Yeah, I'm Michelle, saying. Ask I just ended up cutting my hand off. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, so they announced uh, last week that there would be a Battlestar Galactica movie. Now, uh, Walter, are you a fan of Battlestar Galactica? Do you think this is a good idea? You think they're finally going to pull it off? You know, I, I was I was much younger when I when I saw Battlestar Galactica when I was younger when it was out in the 70s, and then uh, and I watched it a little bit the second time. What's cool is I've gotten to know a lot of the cast members, like Herbert Jefferson. I see all the time. He lives around the block from me. I see him at the coffee shop. And he, oh, what's up? You know. Know, it's kind of cool. cool. It's like a mini convention. And, yeah, well, he does. It is like a mini convention yeah. Starbucks in my neighborhood. Con. I love it. Cappuccino exactly. con. There you go. Cappuccino con. <laughs> Can you put a trademark on that? Already done. Okay. Just like Power Rangers, we're doing a reboot. They're doing a reboot of that show. Why not? I mean, they're doing a big movie for Power Rangers. What's going on with that? Yeah. Do you think? Do you think that Lionsgate has? Uh, I'd say a responsibility to kind of give us a shout out to the legacy of Power Rangers that's been going on for so long. You know, Maybe some I think cameos. that's what the fans want. I mean, I think the fans, I mean, am I right? The fans yeah. want to see like some of the originals, yeah. like, be part of it? Yeah, yeah. Cool. You could be at the coffee shop. At the coffee I mean, shop. And they'd be like, Ernie's Mr. Ranger, how do you like your coffee? I like my coffee. <laughs> Black. But, uh, yeah. uh, see, he set me up. He set me up. It that. writes itself. You see what it was? Folks. It you writes know. itself. What's your favorite Power Rangers moment? There were lots of amazing moments. Lots of amazing moments. But <clears throat> I think the one that really defined what the show was and what it was going to be and how it affected the lives of people was when we did our appearance at Universal Studios. That was crazy. It was mm -hmm. like it's supposed to be this little show and before you know it, we had six shows in one day, sold out the Universal Amphitheater six times, backed up traffic from Universal to downtown. It was on the news with Tom Brokaw the next day. It was like that night, it was like, it was crazy. And the, and the experience was kind of like, you know, we didn't really know what to expect, but we get there, we're wearing our helmets or suits, and, and they come out on stage, it's time to do the show, and, and the guy's on the mic, he dons the power of the Blastodon. He is Zach, the Black Ranger. I take off my helmet, and the crowd goes, <sighs> and there's lights, it's like Star Trek. It goes, you know, like, everywhere. I was like, this is my rock star moment. Let's give him another rock star moment. We started ahead. Yeah. 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 Yeah.